Now when I drilled this hole in the other day, I drilled it in maybe a little bit too deep here. And I'm probably going to have to trim things down here. Okay. So I know it's that deep. Okay. So in other words, the hole bottoms out right there. So in other words, if I, now I realize that this only goes down this far, but if I don't want the hole to show out the bottom, that means that I have to cut it off probably down here. And I, I really don't want it that long, because then when it's standing up like this, it's going to be more tippy the taller it is. So I'm, I'm thinking that maybe I'm going to have to just let the hole be exposed on the bottom of this thing. Either that or shorten this, you know, but then I don't have a whole lot of room here to grab on with the chuck. Although maybe that's the way I'm going to have to go here. Well, we'll soon know. That's right folks, these workshop videos, they're not scripted. I have no idea how it's going to end until it ends. Well, I think you can probably see my dilemma here now. If I just leave this line, the hole will not be exposed at the bottom of the little stand. However, these, uh, this uh, chuck, or rather these jaws, are not designed to hold something away out here on the tips. And of course, if I go in like this, so it has a little better bite, well then what's going to happen is my tool is going to be extremely close to these uh, jaws. Uh, like the parting tool, for instance, when it comes time to part this off. Okay, I got that nice and snug, but not so tight that it's going to split the wood. And I just know that at the end of this video, I'm going to think, gee, I could have done that differently. However, I'm going to get it going here. And I'm going to run it up to about a thousand RPM. Well, actually, that's 1200. Well, what I want to do now is I want to get the camera out of the way here and get in so that I can do a much safer job because right now I'm standing rather awkward. Now I think you can probably see what I'm trying to do here. I want to get this end turned down so it'll be the same diameter as the handle. And uh, it'll be quite cone shaped. And maybe if it's a little bit too long, it'll, uh, it'll match up with the length of this handle here. So it might be actually a good idea now that I think about it to have it a little longer. And after all, it doesn't have to survive an earthquake. It's not going to fall over once it's set somewhere. Now this time I started out with 100 grit, very carefully. Then I worked my way up to 600 again. So it was 100, 220, 400, 
then 600. Now I don't know if you can see it, but I've taken it right down with the parting tool to probably just a little larger diameter than an eighth of an inch. I don't want to go any smaller than that because it could suddenly break off and then this piece is going to go flying off and maybe get damaged. So I'm going to cut it off and then I'm going to carefully sand the little stub that is left. Okay, now who's noticed what I forgot to do? Yep, the polish. Well, I'm going to have to be careful now because I don't want to accidentally break that off. Don't want to put too much pressure on that. But I think if I'm careful, I can do it. sure wasn't much holding that on, was there? We're done. <laughs>